Welcome to exercise number one for Raj for Rice equation. We're going to be using Flash for a multi-component system. We have a feed of ethane, isobutane, n pentane, and n hexane with the following characteristics: 20, 20, 20, 40% hexane. Great. Flashing operations: 100 Celsius. This is isothermal, and we have a high pressure. What mole fractions of the feed is vaporized, so technically speaking, phi, because we want to know how much vapor is present. And what is the composition of the vapor? That will be Y. Okay, so technically speaking, we don't know if this is liquid, vapor, or a mixture. So we need to verify it for ourselves. Now, interestingly, the first step is to verify the data. Second step is to calculate K values. So the data, we don't have total amount of F, so I'm going to be assuming 100 kilomol per hour. C is given here, 20, 20, 20, and 40. And we have temperature and pressure. Now we cannot use Raoult's law because this is high pressures, but fortunately we have alkanes, so we can use the Priester chart. And I'm going to do this for ethane, isobutane, enpentane, and enexane. Pressure is something around 87, so it should be here. And 212, something around here. So I'm going to cross here ethane, isobutane, enpentane, enexane. So, well, this is something between 15 and 20, no, 10 and 15, 12.5, yeah, it's correct. This will be something around 2.5 and 3, 2.8 is correct, something almost near to 1, actually this may be even 0.99, but in this case I selected 0 0.95, and finally something around 0.45 and 0.5. Once again, this could be 0.47, but anyways, it's good enough. Now, assume fee value, as we have been using, good starting point is 0.5, so that's what I'm going to be using. And I'm going to be using also the, uh, the spreadsheet I used before in the worked example. Remember, these are the K values, which I will be using. And I think it's better if I open these for you Yes. This is flash distillation course, exercise one, right for rice equation. I got one, two, three, four, which is ethane, butane, pentane, hexane, compositions, K values, which I obtained from the Bristol chart. And I'm going to start as you remember. So the only difference will be this and this part right here. I added those columns because I have four species. In the work example, we had only three species. And well, let's get it started. We have F1, 2, and 3, and 4. Total addition of these guys will be minus 0.21. I got F1, 2, 3, and 4 of the derivative. Total addition of these guys. And we calculate the new fee value. And rapidly, we have more vapor. The error is 43%. But I'm going to be using this value, which is hopefully near. And as you can see here, yep, yeah, we are getting a new value of 75%, which is only 5.6% ever. Then I use this value, and finally, I think we get to a correct value. But because this is Excel, I just need to drag the bottom down. So literally what I did was something like this. And you will get the iterations. So in this specific case, we have no bouncing or let's say the, there are no intervals. This is a direct value right here. Okay, which is right here. Yeah, this is phi. Remember, phi is vapor over the feed, which is technically how much is vaporized. So yeah, this will be the answer to A. The compositions. Well, before we go to the compositions, guys, let me go here. We can use, once again, brute force. Let's say we started with 0.5. And we see that there's overestimation and below estimation for the liquid. Let's say we go then 90%. 
we see there is low values of vapor so let's go 0.8 good enough maybe 0.7 good enough now you can see here we are crossing number one so the answer must be between 0.7 and 0.8 if i use half you will get to the solution okay so actually 0.76 is also a good guess anyways let's continue with our exercise uh, since we got phi value which is this one right here we can calculate the vapor because we assume a value of 100 kilomol which is this one right here then calculate liquid from the liquid balance or material balance we got this one right here and then these values which i of course use excel simply calculate k values added c values phi value which is the correct one and must be used for everyone and i got these additions 0 0.999 1.000 and this way is how we calculated ratchford rice equation with k values obtained from the priester chart